Good day all. Welcome back to Study Nest. So, in my last government video, I have told you the functions of the government, like what exactly the government does. In this video, I am going to tell you the organs of the government. So, like, let's suppose that you have, like, can a body work with only one organ, which is the brain? I mean, like, the brain cannot pump blood and at the same time digest food, at the same time excrete and lots more. Can a one single brain do? The answer is no. In the same way, can a country with crores and crores of people be managed by one government? Well, the answer is again a big, 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 big no. So that's why for the smooth functioning of the country, the government has been divided into three organs, judiciary, legislative and executive. So judiciary, legislative and executive. So let's understand legislative first. So a leg legislative makes laws or welfare schemes. They put welfare schemes like donating to the poor or building some huge buildings or building flyovers. Now let's understand this government a little more with an example. Let's say that the legislative or government decides to build a flyover. I mean like one person or a few people from the thing decide. So they put up discussions and debates with the with their other teammates to like approve to build the flyover if everyone say no then the answer will be no and if the welfare scheme will not be continued but if everyone approves the 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 it is decided and has to be approved by a higher level so the they put discussions in the parliament i mean legislative is also called as the parliament so they go and tell that hello mr executive will you give us permission to execute this but of course they won't ask like that but then they tend to say that so the word execute execute government so the government which executes the laws or the welfare schemes decided by the legislative so as you can understand from the word execute they execute as i said they execute the laws or the welfare schemes or put it into action the elected representative make laws in the parliament and those laws are implemented implemented by the ministries and their departments okay that's clear now what if there are conflicts about the flyover or of something else then comes the police you have seen you might have seen that in you know whenever there's a problem or a conflict the police comes in and they says no 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 stop 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 fighting stop fighting stop fighting well, that is the judiciary part of the government. The third role of the organ, the judiciary, is to punish the lawbreakers. Punishments can range from simple fines to religious imprisonment. I mean like long term or lifelong imprisonment. There's an elaborate system of courts in the country so that our country's justice can be maintained or the peace can be maintained. So we have look I mean we have the courts like we have for Hyderabad one for the state court and we have the Supreme Court which is like deals high problems. And it is located in New Delhi, our capital. So yeah, that was it for today. I hope you learned something new and liked it. If yes, give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. And ring the notifications as well for the latest updates of my video. Until the next video, goodbye.